The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Reed McCoys. Being as how we're McCoys, which almost includes Pepina here, I guess you know why we're all here. Fifty percent of our farm is bug infested, and the county agent says that Tell him what the county agent says, Luke, will you? The county agent says that even after we get through spraying and spreading them expensive chemicals, we won't be able to grow anything for at least three months. Wow. How are we going to get along, Grandpa? Well, I guess we get along the same as us McCoy's and all us got along. Just have to pull in our belts and put our shoulders to the wheel, and somehow or some way we'll get back on our feet again. Well, I can help, Grandpa. I bet you I can get some more subscriptions on my paper route if I try real hard. Well, while you're about it, ask about mowing a few lawns, huh? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Ed Swanson's been wanting me to do some sawing. Of course, it ain't top wages. He's the only one in the county that pays less than we do. <laughs> but it'll help. <laughs> Good boy, Luke. I can get some more jobs babysitting, and that'll save on supper money, because they always tell me to help myself to the refrigerator. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm sure I can get more dressmaking work. That is, if you stay out of the fitting room with your insult and remarks. <laughs> Will you tell your customers to quit asking my opinion? <laughs> Grandpa, I can make some extra money. I have a big talent for unskilled labor. <laughs> no, no, Pepina, we don't expect nothing from you. I thought I was like one of the family. Well, uh, when things is good, you are a McCoy, but when things is bad, why, you're just a full-fledged outsider. But that's not fair. Well, you see, Pepino, we're responsible to you when things is bad, but, but you ain't responsible to us. But if things are bad, I don't want no money. You can keep my salary. <laughs> now, look, Pepino, you work hard for your wages, and we're going to see that you get every penny of it when we get back on our feet. Senor Grandpa, if I am a member of the family, I have a right to be as bad off as anybody else. Well, don't feel that way. We love you just like one of the family, and we appreciate what you're offering to do for us. Well, all I know is for somebody who was told he was part of the family, I'll be better off as a stranger. <laughs> Gee, Grandpa, do you think we hurt his feelings? He just don't understand us McCoys. We just can't play favorites, Kate. Now, if we take charity from him, we're going to take it from everybody. <laughs> All you McCoys up there, even though they say I am not a McCoy, I am, almost. So I'll find some way to help my family, and they will never know. Excuse me, I got to get busy. <laughs> Carlos, this guitar sounds different than any other guitar. <laughs> what is different? It sings. It has a soul. Look, if I didn't need the money to help my family, I will never sell it. I will sell it to you for just one price. Ten dollars. No less than nine. <laughs> Are you crazy, eh? What need have I got for a guitar? What am I going to do? <laughs> Seven. Eight and a half. Let us not talk about it anymore. I just don't want it. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Carlos, the phone numbers in the back of the guitar are worth more than that. Seven and a half. All right, seven and a half. Uh, seven. Seven dollars for a guitar that sounds like this? Bien de mi vida, ven a mis brazos, te necesito, pues si no vienes, temo que mi vida sea un fracaso y tú me vayas a olvidar. Oh, you sing so beautiful, and you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Can I scratch your telephone number and your name in the back of my guitar, please? <laughs> well, Carlos, what do you say? 
All right? All right, I will give you $30. $30? Sold. Here's $30 for the guitar. And you. Well, I don't understand. It's very simple, Pepino. You see, you come to work here every night, eh? You play the guitar, you sing the song. <laughs> At the end of the week, $30. Carlos, you mean it? Hey, one week, uncancelable. <laughs> gracias, mi amigo, gracias. If you do good and you throw the crowd in, I will raise you $5 more. Carlos, you're a wonderful man. You don't know what you have done for me and my family. Ah, Pepino, please, please. You are a good man, I am a good man. You got a big heart, I got big heart. You're generous, I'm generous. Have tequila? Sí, eh? gracias. Sal? Mm -hmm. Limón? Un limoncito, sí. En tequila. Mm. <coughs> Saludita. There will be 35 cents. <laughs> Apple pie, sugar babe. Well, thank you, Luke. Sure was, Tim. See, how about this last piece here, huh? Uh, I'm saving that for Pepino. Oh, I didn't want it anyways. Where is Pepino? Oh, I seen him leaving the barn for town a few hours ago. Yeah, I seen him too. He had his guitar with him and he, he had on his singing clothes. Yeah, he's sure gonna warm up some balcony tonight. <laughs> you know, it's just amazing. Here he's a, a, a suffering and a moaning with us about us and our troubles, and just like that, the pain's all gone, and he's probably out now in some canteen uh, dancing a caramba or something. Grandpa, you told him not to worry. You told him it wasn't his problem. Yeah, well, you don't even need to have such a gall darn good time of covering up his misery. <laughs> Muy buenas noches, señores y señoras. Eh, señoritas. <laughs> Me, Carlos Guadalupe. Welcome you to this place that I have owned for 17 years in four different locations. <laughs> I have a big surprise for you. I am going to introduce to you a new policy in LTV team. Showbiz. <laughs> I have the great pleasure and the great honor to present to you the star of our show. The Senorita Slayer of the San Fernando Valley, Pepino Garcia! <laughs> Mosquitoes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would like to start my program tonight by singing for you a bunch of brand new old favorites. I'd like to start by singing for you, she forgot to put out her cigarette or the case of fire. <laughs> if you don't like that, I will sing for you, the moon was yellow. And I was pretty scared myself. <laughs> well, now I will sing for you, Cuanto le gusta, which means in English, the same thing. Cuanto me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta. Cuanto me gusta el gusto y toda la parranda y todos si me ven beber. ¿Qué haré para enamorar esa perfida mujer? Cuanto me gusta el gusto y toda la parranda y todos si me ven beber. ¿Qué haré para enamorar esa perfida mujer? Bello es amar a una mujer. A una mujer que sepa amar, porque el amor es traicionero, soy parrandero, para que lo he de negar. Cuánto me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta. Where are we going? What are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere, the three of us and you. What will be there? Who will be there? What with a big surprise? They may be señoritas with dark and flashy eyes. We're on our way. Pack up your pack. And if we stay, we won't come back. How can we go? We haven't got a dime. But we're going and we're going to have a happy time. Cuánto le gusta, le gusta, le gusta, le gusta, le gusta, le gusta. Cuánto le gusta a usted, le gusta a usted, le gusta a usted. Cuánto le gusta a usted. Pepino! Pepino, wake up! 
bucks in your grab bar. Look. Come on, we got bugs to kill. It's five after six. A practical waste the whole day away here. Get your work clothes on. Get with it. Shine and rise. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I would like to sing for you the story of my life, which I made up myself. My name is Pepino, and I work up on a farm. I milk the cows and pitch the hay and clean up in the barn. I don't make many pesos, and I always ask the race. But Senor Grandpa rolls his eyes, and then he always says, Pepino, Pepino, you love to take siestas all the time. Pepino, Pepino, you happy, but you haven't got a dime. Conchita and Lolita make me loco in the head. If Conchita meets Lolita, then I wish that I was dead. Cause I promised my Conchita that I always will be true. But I forgot that I had promised my Lolita too. Pepino, Pepino, Pepino. You love to take siestas all the time. Pepino, 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 Pepino. I'm happy, but I haven't got a dime. Señor Grandpa told me that I will have to pitch the hay. Now Señor Grandpa is mad because I'm sleeping all the day. He says I have to do the work and maybe he's right. But Señor Grandpa doesn't know I cha-cha all last night. <laughs> Pepino. 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 You love to take siestas all the time. Pepino. 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 I'm happy but I haven't got it. Haven't got it. Haven't got it. I'm happy but I haven't got it. See, you're up and getting dressed, Buffini. Yeah, let's get to work. We got a lot more spraying to do today. <laughs> Good for our week. Pepino, <laughs> they love you, and I love you too. Gracias, Carlos. But now I must get home. Senor Grandpa warned me. Tomorrow is a big day, and I gotta get some rest. Of course, Pepino, you must rest. And uh, you know what night this is, eh? This is pay night. This is gonna make you happy, no? <laughs> Very much. I am going to take the money home and I'm gonna put it away in a place where Senor Grandpa can find it. Because if I give it to him, he won't take it. Oh. He's uh, very proud, eh? Like we are. Well, that's all right. And now, about you, pay. The deal that we have made is that you're gonna get $20 a week, eh? $20 a week? You leave, you crook. You said 35 You can't get away with this. Carlos, I'll sue you. Go ahead and sue me. You're still going to get... Forty dollars. Forty dollars? Carlos! You're so wonderful, you're so kind-hearted, you're so good! Have a tequila. Have a tamale. He's in the house. <laughs> now I must get home. Pepino! Pepino, you hear something? Pepino! They are calling for you, my friend. Carlos, with all the spraying I have to do tomorrow, I gotta get some sleep. Pepino. All right, one more song. Pepino. Ten, two. Pepino. Would you have wait? Nine.
will never know. Abina. <laughs> Senor Grandpa, this is the last insult and straw. I warned you how much work we had to do today. Well, Senor Grandpa, I... And here you come home just before dawn, dancing around the kitchen, making a lot of noise, and just reeking of tamales. Well, Senor Grandpa, I was just... I promise you, I will never do it again. You're good, done right you won't do it again. Because you're fired. You're through. Now get... Well, Senor Grandpa, you wouldn't do that to me. You couldn't. Pepina, you heard what I said. Now you get out of here and don't you never come back no more. But, Senor Grandpa... And you wanted to be looked on like one of the family. Go on, get... Get... Grandpa, I just don't see how you could have fired him. Well, I miss him. It won't be the same with him not around. Once and for all, forget it. We got a lot of important figuring to do. We got to figure out if we got enough money betwixt us and the cookie jar here to pay that chemical bill. Babysitting, 285. I still don't think it's right. Oh, well, now look, sugar babe, this is all spilt milk. There ain't no sense in re slopping it. Well, how could you? Well, how could he do what he done, but he done it? All right, little Luke. Five dollars and 54 cents. Poor little Pepino. Probably broke his heart clean through. Eleven dollars, smack dab even. All right, Mrs. District Attorney. You got anything to report? Seven dollars and fifty cents. And I still think it's awful about Pepino. Well, you wouldn't think it was so awful if you seen all the work me and Luke had to do, all by ourselves, without no help. I'm about ready to collapse. How much do you figure that amount to there, Luke? Oh, um, we got about twenty-seven dollars. Hmm. And that and the three dollars in the cookie jar, it only makes about 30, don't it? That's right, Grandpa. We ain't gonna have enough money for the fertilizer. Well, what do you mean, Lou? Well, you see, after we get through spraying, we gotta have fertilizer to condition the soil and get it back into shape. You mean all the work you've done may have gone for nothing? Well, maybe not, Kate. Maybe with this, we'll have enough to pay the chemical bill. Where did all that money come from? I don't know. It didn't get there by itself. This money tastes of tamales. <laughs> What's that got to do? <laughs> tamales! What is it, Grandpa? Well, that's what Pepino smelled of last night when he was dancing around the kitchen. It must have been Pepino. But, sugar babe, where would he get this kind of money? Well, who knows, but he got it, didn't he? And all to help us. Oh. I'm all shriveled up and ashamed inside. I don't think I'll be able to get over what I've done to him as long as I live. We've got to go to town and find Pepino. Yeah, and i got to tell him how sorry I am. Put this money back in the cookie jar and make sure he gets some to eat. Tippy Tin. Well, you might as well try here, too. Well, what does Pepino be doing in the French restaurant? <laughs> well, let's go in and look anyway. Well, I don't see him any place. Pepino, all right, I know you are sad, but you know, the show must go on. I say this to myself, Carlos. I say, Pepino, the show must go on. You know what I answer? What? Who cares? See, he ain't in here. I even looked under the tables. Poor Pepino. Don't you see that, that seeing in front of the people, hearing their laughter, the, their applause, this will help you to forget. Please. All right, Carlos, just for you. 
Well, there ain't no place else to look. Nope. This is the last place, all right. The fella probably went back home to Tijuana. I guess we better go back home ourselves. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Do you hear what I think I hear? I milk the cow. I think so. Pitch the hay. I know so. And clean up in the barn. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I could sing the song. I tried, but no. I... What do you mean, no? Senor Grandpa, you got to sing. No McCoy ever give up. A McCoy? I am a McCoy? Pina Garcia, you're a real McCoy. Yeah! <laughs> Pepino, Pepino, you love to take siestas all the time. Pepino, 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 Pepino. I'm happy, but I haven't got a haven't got a haven't got. I'm happy, but I haven't got a dog. <laughs>